How's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make about ten dollars to $15,000 in under 30 seconds. And it deals with robbing these armored cars that appear all over Los Santos. So it's fairly straightforward. There's basically going to be an armored car with one to two people in it. You take out the driver, you run around back, and you shoot the door about three times. And about four to five money bags are going to fall out, each of them containing about $2,000 to $3,000. In this case, I got $10,000 right there. Uh, it said that I had $21,000, but I already had about $10,000 cash on hand. And that is pretty straightforward. These armor trucks appear everywhere around Los Santos, more particularly around the three banks uh, that I know of so far. We just passed one right there. There's one up the street near the Starwalk, and there's one in Polito Bay. So you are going to get three stars, but it's fairly easy to avoid the cops. I've got a few methods. One, if you are doing this by way of a car, if you have a vehicle like myself, try to do these near your safe house because basically what you can do is just uh, lose the cops so that it's not flashing red on you and you can go into your safe house and the cops will be lost. It's fairly straightforward. The chases maybe last like 30 seconds if you get really good at Like you can see, I've already lost my cop stars right here and I've got full money. But the easiest way to do it is by far with a helicopter. Now. I know this is kind of weird because not everyone just has a helicopter at their disposal, but if you do have a helicopter and you do happen to see one of these armored trucks, it makes this process that much easier because the cops have a very difficult time getting to anyone in a helicopter because they don't really send air support after you. So some of the times there will be two people inside one of these trucks. It's easiest to take out the driver first so that he doesn't run away. However, the second guy will pop out. However, a shotgun blast to his chest or wherever uh, will kill him. You put three more bullets in the door. And that time it only dropped two bags, so I only got about, I think it was $7,000 total right there. I had $2,000 on hand, ended up with about $9,000. But what I've noticed is the range is anywhere from $7,000 to $15,000, which is really cool because uh, recently there's been a patch update. There's been many patch updates to Grand Theft Auto Online. And jobs are only getting around $3,000, $2,000, $4,000. So why go through an entire mission that you could end up failing when you can really just rob an armored truck and get anywhere from, like I said, $10,000 to $15,000, sometimes even doubling and quadrupling what you'll get from job payouts. So like I mentioned earlier, there are a few locations I want to talk about. There's two in Los Santos, the two banks that I've showed you you can go in. And then there is one near the Polito Bay location. Um, I found a lot of armored trucks patrol this area right here. This one's a little bit more difficult because I don't have a safe house out here. So I like to take my helicopter out there and it makes it really easy to escape the cops. But anyways, guys, if you did enjoy this video or found this information helpful, I would encourage you guys to leave a like on the video and subscribe if you are new for more awesome daily Grand Theft Auto 5 content. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Take care. And of course, I'll see you guys in the next video.